are we doing blasted on this land? It's belligerent, ignorant colors to make peacocks blush. We are narcissists, fixated on our own image, ignoring the vivid midwives, the waddle leaning on the bank beside us, the tall ghost guns mouthlessly shouting, look at the sky behind us, blind to all these timeless reminders. We have forgotten what it is to be, to dig our feet into the earth. We spend our time avoiding the dirt, to cover our feet, run to speed up the globe, to escape our shadows, to see our face in the mirror of the next day's sun, shouting to ourselves, look, it is I, look at all I own and all I've done, disdaining the outstretched hands of those who are one with the land, instead looking for trackers to trace marks across the ground, not remind us of the narrative lines pulsing underground, the loudest story living without sound, branching crash the the minor edit, as though it alone was an epic tome. We are a dot on an eye in an infinite plot, but we hog the light. We crave the centre of stage. I'm CJ Bowbird, a spoken word artist and poet from Canberra, in the Australian Capital Territory. When I was uh, invited to perform at the National Gallery and I was looking for a work to respond to, I was naturally drawn to Sidney Nolan's collection on Ned Kelly. It's an iconic Australian collection of paintings and obviously Ned Kelly is a very iconic figure in, in Australia's history and for me at the moment I'm thinking and writing a lot about masculinity and what it means to be an Australian male so that actually piqued my interest and fit in nicely with something that I'm working on at the moment independently. The thing that struck me and I don't know if it was Sidney Nolan's intent but the colour, colourful and the geometric shapes that are placed on the Australian landscape that's very muted and and very strong and but present in the background mm. that to me also symbolizes European civilization of Australia and you can see there's some beautiful settings with some very violent actions happening in them and there are also elements of levity and fun and, and joking mm. so I think in a way he's captured that that time and he's probably captured Ned Kelly because he's quite a complex mm. character he's captured them those aspects in his work we our experts at switching brands on stock. We should be placing palms on rock, cheeks on bark, ears to dirt, just stop. And listen. We know exactly where we are. We're lost.